Sorry, Nevada. I salute you. Anyway, we will now look at our problem. Now you have this real big damn circle, the size of a country or two. And, oh geez, there's some cuts off. And this huge circle is 3.8 times 10 to the 4. And that's just radius. So that's in centimeters. Can somebody tell me how many meters that is? Quick. It's 3.8 times 10 to the 2 meters. Oh. So now, you take this, and you will have an uncertainty here. What is the uncertainty? Well, the thing is, the last digit is most likely always uncertain. So, let's say it's uncertain by plus minus 0.1%. I mean point one. So these are our given. The radius is uh, <laughs> the radius is three point eight times ten to the fourth power, and our uncertainty in the radius. Radius, I don't trust you. And our uncertainty in the radius is point one times ten to the four. Or 1 times 10 to the 3 if you're a fancy guy. Anyway, let's look at how we can solve this problem. What we want to find is the area and the uncertainty in the area. So, how do we find it? Well, we can find it actually very easily. Now, First, find the minimum and maximum value because you're uncertain to the degree of 0.1 times 10 to the fourth power. So that means that at the minimum, it has to be 3.7 times 10 to the fourth, or 37,000. You can write that out. And at the maximum, that's 3.9 times 10 to the fourth, which you can write out as 39,000. Now, notice that there's a difference. 3.9 times 10 to the 4 minus 3.7 times 10 to the 4 is equal to 0.2 times 10 to the 4. But wait! Isn't that just two times our uncertainty? Dun dun dun! That means that we can actually make a handy equation. The maximum minus 2 times the uncertainty is equal to the minimum. Or if we wanted to try it the other way around, the minimum plus two times the uncertainty is the max. So now let's solve for our uncertainty so we can find a reliable equation for the uncertainty of our area. So uncertainty equal to max minus min. It's actually a really good insight that I had when trying to solve this problem. And now you, oh Jesus. Now you divide both sides by two and you get uncertainty is equal to max minus min over two. So we have to find the maximum area and the minimum area and divide that by two and that will give us our uncertainty in area. Now for we can find the easier thing, which is just the area itself, which is pi r squared. Pi times 3.8 times 10 to the 4 squared. Well, actually, you, uh, you, it's not that you just round it. You have to round it. We've already discussed sig figs, so there are only two sig figs here, thus there must be two sig figs here. So 4.5 uh, corresponding to 45, and then time uh, and then times 10 to the what power well that's count in spanish uno dos tres cuatro cinco seis siete ocho nueve veces no all right so now that is our area uh, and now that's how we find one of our things so 4.5 now what's the uncertainty in our area? Well, 
To do that, we'll have to go back to our min and our max and calculate what area using them uh, those radiuses too. So now we put 39,000 squared times pi and that gives us 4.8 times 10 to the 9. And when we plug in 37,000, let's see, 37,000 squared times pi, that gives us 4.3 times 10 to the 9. Ah, now we just put these into our equation. So this gives us 4.8 minus 4.3. Click! 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bang! Alright, so that's 0.5 times 10 to the 9, also known as 5 times 10 to the 8. Catch it. And then divided by 2, that gives us 0.25 times 10 to the 9. But wait! There's only one sig fig here. What? So that means there must only be one sig fig here. And if it's 5 or higher, round up. And that gives you 0.3 times 10 to the 9. So, 0.3 times 10 to the 9 is our uncertainty. You might say, but you boring man, that doesn't make sense. Because if you take 4.5 and subtract 3, then you get 4.3. Well, that's because this really is just 0.25 times 10 to the 9. We are just rounding for the purpose of sig figs. And what is this? 4.3. And what is this? These are all approximate values due to the use of sig figs. And so 0.3 times 10 to the 9. And now, uh, after that, we're all finished. 4.5 plus minus 0.3 times 10 to the 9. Thank you everybody for watching and Turkish Marts. I'm to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.